In this tutorial, we'll look at the first eight code blocks of the operators category. And you have also noticed that I've skipped over the control and sensing code blocks. And the reason is that the control code blocks can use operators. So it's better to understand operator first before starting with the control code blocks. So let's go with the operator first. Now we'll look at our first code block, which is the plus. Now this code blocks is quite simple. It just allows us to add two numbers. So let's say if I give my first parameter as five and the second parameter as five as well. And now if I run it, you can see it gives me the answer five plus five, 10. And you can actually use these operator in other code blocks as well. So let's say I can bring this move 10 steps code block and I could use the operator inside this move and now what will happen is when I'll run this code block first it will calculate what 5 plus 5 is and then it will move 10 steps forward now once I'll run this you'll see that my loan is going to move forward so look at this x value it's currently 38 and now if I run it we can see that it's 48 and I can click it many times and you can see my loin moves forward 10 times each each time I run this code block so we can use all these operators uh, let's say the plus minus multiply and divide in probably all of the motion motion code blocks so we can use them in move we can use them in turn degree we can use them in go to glide point in direction and also we can use them in uh, the looks code block so uh, let's look at our next code block which is the minus one so this code block basically simply does minus of two numbers so let's say if I say 10 minus 4 and now what I can do is I can go to the looks category and I can bring this say block and I can use this operator inside the say block so now when I'll run this we can see that our sprite says 6 because 10 minus 4 is 6. Now if you look at our next code block which is multiply. So basically this multiplies to number. So if I do 3 multiply by 4 and now if I run it you can see that the answer is 12 and you can also use this operator in many other code blocks. And our next code block is the divide one and it divides to a number so let's say if I say 20 divided by 10 and if I run it, the answer should be 2 because 10 multiplied by 2 is 20. So you get here 2. Now if you look at our next code block, which is pick random. Now pick random code block returns us a random number between the two numbers. So if our first number is 1 and if our last number is 10, so this code block will give us a random number between 1 to 10. So if I run this code block, you can see that it gives us 3. Now if I run it again, you can see that it gives us 4. And we can also use this code block in, let's say again, the think code block. Or I can use them in other as well. So if I put this inside the think code block, you can see that my sprite says 10. If I run it again, it again says 10. If I run it again, it now says 4. And let's say if I want a number between 12 and maybe 17. So I can put the first value as 12 and the second as 17. And when I run it, you can see it now gives me 12. Then it gives me 12 again. And then it gives me 13. So this pick random basically gives us a number between two numbers randomly. Now let's look at the next code block, which is greater than. Now first thing to notice is that, that these three code blocks, greater than, less than, and equal to, have a different shape than the rest of the code block above. The code block for plus, minus, multiply, divide, and pick random are round shape in circle. But the greater than, less than, and equal to have a hexagon shape. So basically all these hexagon shapes uh, code blocks are special and the reason they are special is because they only return two values. They either return uh, true or false 
and you can use these operators the hexagon ones in control blocks let's say you can use them in if you can use them in if else you can use them in wait until and repeat until and you'll also notice that the uh, the shape inside the if block matches the shape of the greater than uh, code block so both are hexagon so you can use this greater than less than and equal to inside this if if else and we'll understand what if if else are in a later video so let's look at this first so the greater than code block basically returns true and false and basically it asks us a question whether the first number is greater than the second number so let's say if I put 20 inside this and I'll run this you can see that it's saying false because 20 is not uh, greater than 50 so that's why it's returning me false and we can also actually put this in in the looks code block so let's say if I put say here and I can put inside here and now if I run it again you can see that my line says false same if I say let's say 55 so we know that 55 is greater than 50 so it will say true now if you look at our next code block which is less than so this less than basically tells me if the first number is less than another number so let's say if I put this inside the say block and if I say uh, 49 so we know that 49 is less than 50 so if I run it my sprite should say true now if I let's say say 56 and now if I run it this should say uh, 56 is less than 50 so this should say false so here we can see that it says false now we'll look at our last operator for today's video and it's equal to now this operator basically says that if my first value is equal to my second value so it's again quite simple if we say 50 is equal to 50 and if I run this you can see that it says true if let's say I say 34 and now if I run it you can see it says false so you can also use words inside it so let's say if I say scratch and let's say I say the second value should be hello so it's quite obvious that hell, uh, scratch is not equal to hello so if I run it it will say false and now if I change the second value to scratch as well and if I run it it will say true so in this video we looked at the first eight code blocks of operator and we also learned that how we can use these operators in our motion code blocks in looks and we also understood that there are some code blocks like the greater than less than and equal to which have a hexagon shape and these hexagon shape code blocks can be used in if if else wait until and repeat until so that was it for today's video if you like the video uh, just comment and if you didn't understand you can ask me any questions and also subscribe the channel thank you